So now we're going to learn how computer represents numbers. So computer we're going to use bits, numbers, uh, bytes, and words in order to represent numbers. So first, what is a bit? A bit is some uh, computer units that can represent either 0 or 1. So 0 is, let's say, for um, off and on. 1 is for on um, state or the bit. It can only represent one value at a time, of course, not, not both. But it can represent two values, two different values, 0 or 1, or 2 power 1. Then um, the next unit is their um, nibble. So a nibble consists of four um, bits, and it uh, has the first bit, which is called the most significant bit because it has the highest position value in uh, 2 power 3 in this case. And the um, uh, rightmost bit is the least significant, significant bit because it has 2 power 0 position values. Then it can represent 2 power 4 or um, 16 values. And actually, it is one hexadecimal letter, so it has 16 values going from 0 up to 10, then A, B, C, D, E, and F for 10 up to 15. Now, uh, another common unit is a byte, which is two nibbles or eight bits. And this is the most common um, memory unit, like the $1 bills in uh, money systems. Now, it can represent two power eight, um, or 256 possibilities or different values, but of course only one at a time, but, but it can represent 256 different, at different times. Or it's going to be two um, hexadecimal symbols. Now, a word in computer is going to um, be multiples of um, bytes. Uh, it's going to be um, 2 bytes, 3 bytes, or um, 64 bytes. For example, um, the 64-bit processor has um, 64 bits, of course, or that one is uh, 8 bytes. Now, this is an example of a byte that is um, 8 bits, but again, um, each bit can represent two different states, but at one time, it can represent only one. So for this 8-bit, one example is going to be um, this binary string. And that binary string, um, we're going to look at their position values. going to have the 2 power 0 up to 2 power 7. Then to find it values, we're going to um, times their face values with their um, position values. Um, but first, the, the um, first bit, again, is the most significant bit, and that one is MSB, and it has 2 power 7. And the um, last bit over here is going to be least significant one, or LSB, and it's going to have 2 power 0. Then, to get the values, we want to times them, the position values with their face values, then we're going to produce this value. It's going to be 128 plus 32 plus 16 plus 2. And we add them up, we'll get the values is 178 in base um, 10. So um, this number okay, uh, is the binary representation in term of one byte for this um, number 178. That one is how computer use um, to buy to represent a number. Let's give another example that we may have two bytes. And very similar, we may have a bit string like this or the two bytes, and they are um, uh, uh, actually the, the um, going to be converted into hexadecimal letters for human um, in order for us to do the computation easily. Of course, we can use the same strategy to um, convert this one into um, uh, decimal numbers, but for human, it's easier to convert them into hexadecimal um, letters. 
and this group of four is represent letter B values. Um, this group of um, four is gonna be represent three. This one is gonna be represent C in hexadecimal, and this one is gonna represent seven in hexadecimal. Then to compute the values, we're going to um, see their position values. The first column is 16 power zero. Second column is 16 power one. Third column 16 power 2, fourth column is 16 power um, 3. Then we're going to have the um, first byte is called the most significant byte, or they have the position values of 16.3 and 16.2. And the last byte over here is called the least significant byte because they have lower position values, which is 16 power 1 and 16 power 0. Now we're going to have their face value so D represent um, no, 7 represent 7, C represent 12, 3 represent 3 for the face values and D represent um, 13. Then to do the computation we're going to just times their face values with their position values and we're going to get those numbers. Again we add them up we're going to get that bit string that we have over here in binary sequence or in hexar um, decimal over here is actually um, 54,215 in um, decimal base. So this one is a summary of what we um, have shown just now. The uh, next one is measurement units. So uh, it's very similar to decimal system, we may have um, hundred thousands and then a million, so on and so forth. In here, they're gonna count them as um, kilobits, which is two power of ten, so it is roughly, roughly um, ten power three, so it's called kilobit, and it's gonna be um, roughly ten power three. You may have kilobytes. Um, or it's going to be um, written as kp and uppercase b over here. Then that one is 2 power 10 or bytes. Again, it's 2 power, uh, it is going to be 10 power 3, up, up some approximately um, number of bytes. Then we'll have megabytes is going to be 2 power 20, so approximately 10 power 6 or um, bytes. Okay, similarly, we have um, um, gigabyte is about 2 power 30 or it's about um, 10 power 9 uh, approximately um, bytes. Then um, next one is how does the computer um, perform um, additions? But, but first we're going to um, learn how do we human perform additions in a um, decimal system, then we will just transfer the same concept into a um, binary system or other systems. So let's just give an example. If we add um, 7 and 5, we're going to um, add them and it's going to produce 12. But um, in, in our system, we have that one position only um, one digit or a symbol. So we add seven and five, it's gonna produce two symbols for two columns. So the number one right now is going to be carries, carries to the next um, positions. Let's say if you have the next position in this area, you're going to add that one into um, this columns. So this one is very um, simple. We are working um, on the decimal system always. So how does we apply the same thing in, in binary um, additions? It, it's the same. So let's just give an example. If you add 0 plus 0, it's going to produce 0 and there is no carry. So that, that's good. If we add 0 with 1, it's going to produce 1 and there is no carry and that's fine. If we add 1 with 0, it's going to produce 1 and there is no carry. Now, if we add 1 with 1, it's going to be 2, and 2 is going to be represented in binary system as 1, 0. 
Okay, but but again, we have the same concept, which is um, one position, one values only, and the same thing. So that number one going to be queries to the next positions. Okay, that one is going to be in there. So that one is binary um, addition. Let's keep one exa or of um, binary additions. So let's just give um, this binary sequence for that number and we're going to add it with this binary sequence which is um, second numbers and if we add the first bit it's going to produce zero. One plus one is actually produced two which is going to be represented as one zero. So for this position, there is only one zero and the one going to be carried. Then if you add the carry with number one, then number zero, it's going to produce a zero and the carry right now is one. If you add one with one with one, it's going to produce one and carry one to the next position. Okay, so so it's produce one. It's produce um, actually um, three. But one is in here and two going to be carried to the next position. Next position will be um, one to represent that. So it's carry one. Okay. So you want to have the carries there, carry the one. Then now we have one plus zero plus zero going to produce earth one. Okay. Then the carry is going to be nothing. There is no more carries. Now let's just go and test this one. And we'll see. Um, we'll see. Um, we're going to times their face values with their position values. And we'll add them up like, like um, we have done just now. The first binary sequence is represent um, 7 in base 10. The second binary sequence is represent five in base ten, and if we, the the third the third sequence is represent um, twelve in base ten, and if we take seven plus five, we do get um, twelve. So this one is a correct. So we can perform the binary addition, which is exactly the same way that we perform um, the similar um, additions. That one is uh, the check that we um, perform this now. Okay. Now uh, we're going to have another um, example um, in four bit system. We'll have this binary sequence. We're going to add it with this binary sequence. And if we add the first one, one plus one, uh, going to produce zero and carry one. Um, the carry plus zero plus zero, going to produce one and there is no carry. Then one plus one will produce zero and carry one. And one carry plus one plus zero gonna produce zero and we have another carry. And for us, we're using four bit system, okay? And we have four bits as a result over here. So this carry is gonna be called as an overflow and it can be checked as the last query. Okay, so let's say, let's just test this one. Um, we're going to tempt the first bit sequence with their position values to find what is this number represent and um, similar for other um, bit sequence. So it turns out that the first one represent 13, the second one um, bit sequence represent five and the third one represent two. And if we take 13 plus five, it should add into um, um, 18, but the result that we get over here is two. And it is, um, this check is incorrect um, because you know, uh, the overflow over here. Okay, so we should care about the um, overflow. Okay, then the next part we will also learn about how a computer represents um, um, 
design number, let's say negative numbers. Um, 